Okay, welcome to Tuesday Talk. I know we've been absent for quite some time and I hope everybody had great holidays. We're gonna talk about brow position or brow lifting. Okay, and how, how do we treat that? I mean, there are non-surgical ways, but we're really gonna focus on surgery. Now, what are some of the symptoms people look to treat? They can have a heavy appearance to the eyebrow. Some, um, sometimes when your brow position is a little bit too low, you tend to raise your eyebrows. That can cause some wrinkling in the forehead. And the other thing that can happen is you can see when the brow is a little bit too low, it causes extra eyelid skin. And just lifting my brow a little bit gets rid of most of the extra eyelid skin. So those are the things you're gonna see. Wrinkling on the forehead, a heavy appearance to the eyebrow, or extra upper eyelid skin that can result from that. How do we treat that? Or more importantly, how, how do we treat that surgically? Okay. Well, that's by doing a brow lift. And the most common way that we do a brow lift is called an endoscopic brow lift. We use an endoscope, which allows us to use a series of small incisions to lift the eyebrow position, fix it in place. The second most common way to do it is what they call a coronal brow lift. And that's a traditional brow lift where an incision is made across the scalp and the extra skin is lifted up and then removed. Okay, So how do we pick one over the other? Well, the vast majority of times we're going to do an endoscopic brow lift. If the amount of scarring is much less and the results are quite good. In men, or people who tend to have a very heavy brow, the chance of the endoscopic brow lift failing is higher. So those are patients that we may lean a little bit more towards doing the open procedure. Or somebody who's already had an endoscopic brow lift and they have failed, that's somebody you might do what's called a coronal brow lift. Now there are other variations that are not done as commonly. You can do a, um, a direct in incision on the forehead or you can do an incision right above the eyebrow. And sometimes we'll do that in patients who, for example, are paralyzed on one side of the face and we want to lift that eyebrow. Or in patients who can't tolerate the anesthesia and maybe want to do something under local anesthesia and have a lesser surgery and, and a lesser recovery time. Thank you.